Okay, here's the deal. So I'm going to show you the five best ways that I make money online. And then you can tell me which ones you want to know more about in the comments. And then I'll go ahead and make those tutorials for you. Okay, does that sound fair? All right, so listen, I made my first dollar online in 2004 with Google AdSense. And I don't recommend doing it that way because it just takes too long to get any kind of results. And even then the earnings are pretty low. So here's how to really make money on the internet. So the first way to do it is with sponsored articles. I started making money from sponsored articles in 2006, and I still make money from them today. And these are native adverts, okay? So they match the interest of your audience and they work in the form of articles or blog posts, but they can also be videos, infographics, podcasts, social media posts as well. I mean, take a look at how Hot Wheels and Buzzfeed work together. Now, you probably know that I don't accept sponsored content on any of the Profit Copilot properties or on my personal brand websites, but I do accept them on my small niche websites and I typically earn around 100 bucks, 200 bucks for every sponsored post that is published. But how do you find people who are willing to pay you this amount? Well, when your traffic level reaches a certain point, you'll start getting emails from advertisers. I don't know how they find you, but they will find you. However, do not accept the first offer that they make. They will always try to lowball you. So do negotiate and then you should be able to get somewhere between 20 to 50% more than they're offering. And another way to do it is to use an advertiser page. Take a look at this. This is how Tay Talks Money does things. It's just a simple form, right? Anyone can do that. And you could also take this a step further if you want to by adding a media kit page to your website. And that should contain your demographics, your traffic levels and your psychographics. Let's move on to number two, affiliate marketing. Now this has got to be one of the easiest ways to make passive income online if it's done right. But most people mess it up and I was one of those people too. When I started in 2007, I didn't really know what I was doing with affiliate marketing. So I went to Amazon, I chose a product that I thought my audience would like. I even put these big banners on the site, but my website was getting 4 million hits a month. And I know that's crazy high numbers, but even with that kind of traffic, affiliate marketing was still only making me around $3,000 a month. When in fact, I should have been making at least 10 times that and the thing is, I still see people doing this today. So I see affiliate marketers every single day making the same mistakes that I made. And you know what? They're missing out on a lot of money as a result. So what's the solution? Well, first of all, you have to survey your audience, really find out what they're actually interested in buying. The answer might actually surprise you. Then secondly, you need to capture your traffic on an email list. The mistake that I made by avoiding that cost me thousands of dollars every month. You know, I tried to sell to cold traffic and really there's only a small number of people who are willing to buy straight away. And the ones who don't, well, they're just gonna leave your website forever, okay? They're a lost opportunity. But with an email list, then you can capture them, you can sell to them as many times as you want. You can try different products. And ultimately that's how you're gonna succeed. And then finally, instead of going with physical products, shift over to digital products, the commission rate is just gonna be so much higher, which takes us to number three, eBooks. Now I sold my first eBook in 2009 and I immediately saw how powerful they are. You see, eBooks are quick and easy to make. If you can use Microsoft Word or Google Docs, then you already have all the skills you need to churn out these eBooks. And if you want to get a little bit fancy with it, then head over to Canva and use some of their professionally made templates. And that's going to make your eBooks look really good. But the great thing is you don't have to churn out hundreds of pages with these things. Often less is more. And my eBooks are usually less than 30 pages. So 
So think about how quick and easy it is to, to write 30 pages versus writing a few hundred page book, right? It's a lot easier, it's a lot quicker. But these ebooks have to be jam packed with actionable information because here's the thing nobody wants to buy an ebook, but they do want to buy solutions, they want to buy a system, they want tutorials, how to guides. So your ebook has to be educational. And these ebooks usually sell from anywhere between seven bucks right up to 50 bucks. And then you can also use them as a liquidator, as a tripwire product, so you can run ads to sell them, recoup the investment as a liquidator, use them as a tripwire to trigger an impulse purchase, and then sell more expensive products further down the sales funnel, which then takes us to number four, which is educational courses. And I sold my first course in 2009, just a few months after learning how to make ebooks and seeing how powerful and profitable they are. Now, courses are a little bit more involved. They usually require video content. And in my experience, that's what performs the best. But the important thing to note with courses is you have to pay close attention to how they're structured. So you need to take your customers on a kind of a, a journey. So you start by assuming that they have very limited knowledge on something, and then gradually you increase that level and then you take them to a, a more advanced level of understanding. But finding that balance can be fairly difficult because if you move too quickly, then people can miss out on vital information and they won't get the results. But if you move too slowly and you take a deep dive into like the tiny little details of things, then you're only creating overwhelm for your students and then they won't get the results because they'll give up. So check this out. This is how I structure my courses. Now I start with the big milestones, the big steps that they have to take in order to achieve a result. And then I take these milestones and I break them down into smaller steps. So they have to go through each of these steps to complete the milestone. And that's how I structure mine. That's how I get the right balance. And the tools that I use for courses are screen capture software. I use ScreenFlow. You can use Camtasia. You can even use some free options that are out there. I also use PowerPoint, Google Slides, and Keynote, depending on which devices I'm using. And I use them to create presentations. So I just record the presentation on screen. And then at the moment, I upload these videos to Vimeo and Kartra, but I've seen lots of other options out there. I've used loads of course software and I think Teachable is probably the easiest to use, but it's not as fully featured as I'd like it to be. Now, MemberPress for WordPress is pretty good. So is LearnDash, it's a very good one. And I've even built courses using S2 member, the free version of S2 member. Now that can get a little bit too technical. So fair warning, you're gonna to have to get your hands dirty if you go down that road. But courses are a really good way to learn the digital product creation uh, techniques before we move on to the next one, which is memberships. Now, memberships work in a similar way to courses, and they even use a lot of the same technology and they create reoccurring income for you. Now, memberships are probably best suited for ongoing education. So topics where the learning is never really finished. There's always something new to learn. And for best results, I recommend front loading your membership area with around 10 videos, at least 10 videos. So members can dive in and they can get a good range of content immediately. And then you can structure it so it's the rest of the content is just drip fed over the coming months. And then you go in and you update and you add new content whenever you have something awesome to share. But think about this for a second, because if we look back at the beginning of this, if we go from method one right through to five, 
Look at all these income streams. Look at how it's structured. So when we put it all together, they each monetize different types of traffic. And that is because traffic equals money. If you don't have traffic, you don't make money. It's that simple. So if you want to learn the secret traffic methods that I use to get over 30,000 website visitors every day for free, head over to profitcopilot.com slash traffic and get that free four day course. And I'll put a link in the description as well. And if you found today's tutorial useful, give it a thumbs up below, subscribe to the channel too, hit that little notification bell so you never miss an update from me. And I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time. Thanks for watching. Take care.